Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Gearbox. Finally back home, flight up from Atlanta today. Miserable weather outside, but that's to be expected. It's not snowing. And the big news today, that camera right there, the C300, has an official U.S. price tag. Coming in at just under $16,000, which for many is a lot more than they wanted it to be. Um, people, some people, unrealistically were thinking that the $20,000 would become $10,000 US. Uh, that wasn't going to happen and was pretty apparent once we had a, a 9 to 10,000 euro uh, price tag on the camera. But uh, there was also hope that we was going to sort of float in a 13 to $14,000 range up to 15 to 16. I think that that was the realistic sort of expectation. So it's on the higher end of that. But this is a working people's camera. And I can tell you that after using it for the last few days, and I'm going to get to use it for another few days, that I don't want to let go of that camera. Um, there's a lot of game changers out there right now, but what this camera is giving you is low light capabilities on another level, really great latitude, being able to just sort of reach into those shadows and grab those highlights and retain information. When we shot the thing in Centennial Park uh, a couple of episodes ago, we were looking at footage of those, you know, those little up lights that you have around trees sometimes and we could see the fall off of the light. You know, it's a really bright light down there that's throwing light straight up. And we could actually look through that and see detail um, for the housing below it. You know, sort of what it's sitting inside of. Um, so that's great. I, I think uh, commercials that are shot outside at night, car commercials, so you're talking about a $16,000 camera, but you're also talking about a camera that could save a lot of money on a commercial shoot because of its sensitivity and how much information is there. Um, you're not really going to benefit from going to an external recorder like a Pix or an AJA uh, box because of the way the camera processes everything. So you might as well shoot to those CF cards. And the only reason you go to an external recorder is if you wanted to make sure you could grab that as a DNX or as ProRes. But I have to say that right now, um, I'm loving this camera. And again, it's not a camera for everybody. I'm looking at stuff. And the problem with camera tests online is that you can make beautiful stuff out of any camera. You can take an FS100, you can take a 7D, you can take a T2i, uh, you can take a C300, you can take an Alexa, and you can effectively shoot something that looks aesthetically, if lit, as beautiful uh, for the most part on all of those cameras, especially if it's lit uh, properly and you don't have to try to grab information um, you know, that you may not have with particular cameras with particular codecs. What's nice about this camera is that you get selective focus, you get incredible low light capabilities, and it just is easy to use. The buttons are actually Frank, the DP who was down in Atlanta with, uh, with us, he said to me, you know, the buttons are in the right place. You know, when we shot that interview, all those interviews, uh, was that even, it felt like a week ago, yesterday, um, he just said that all of the things, you know, the, the zebras, the waveform monitor, the, the peaking, all of those things were where, even without going in and customizing it, where he, you know, thought they should be. And so works out really well. So I'm really excited about going out and shooting some more with it. It's not going to be charts or official things and that kind of stuff. We've already done a little comparison between using the uh, EO standard uh, picture setting in here and uh, throwing up a 7D and just kind of getting a sense for the ISO differences. And there really don't seem to be any. I saw one test that came out of um, uh, Bavaria, I think. It wasn't, I don't think that was shot in Austria. And uh, I think it was shot in Germany. And it was comparing a 1D uh, Mark IV with the C300. And the 1D Mark IV was at 6400 ISO. The C300 was at 20,000 ISO. Um, I have no idea what that was. And they looked, as far as exposure-wise, very, very similar. But um, 
but I'm not sure if the camera was set up the right way when that was done. So we took the 7D and we made that EOS, uh, the standard picture, you know, setting. And then we did the same thing in here to simulate a DSLR and then just did some shots. Maybe I can put that up tomorrow. We'll see. Um, we did it basically right before I did yesterday's episode. So I'm babbling now, but $16,000, not the camera for everybody. Uh, Able Cine, official uh, of, you know, 17 distributors for the camera, and it should be available uh, at the end of January, which really means the beginning of February. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.